So let's learn and enjoy mathematics. Let us learn about the properties of the parallelogram. What is a parallelogram? Parallelogram, it is a quadrilateral with two pairs of parallel sides. Based on the figure of this parallelogram, one pair of the parallel sides, that is this one, yung naka-yellow, another pair of parallel sides, yun yung naka-red. So, this parallelogram have two pairs of parallel sides. So, this is the first pair and this is the second pair. So, the theorem about the parallelogram. First, opposite sides are congruent. So, it means if that is opposite sides are congruent, line segment PQ, it is congruent to line segment RS. The symbol for congruent, yun yung equal, and then may waves sa ibabaw. Another sides that is congruent, line segment PR, it is congruent to line segment QS. So, the symbol for congruent, equal, and then may waves sa ibabaw. So, if line segment PQ, it is congruent to line segment RS, it means if PQ equals 7, what is the value of line segment RS? So the line segment RS is also equal to 7. Because PQ, it is congruent to line segment RS. It means whatever is the value of the PQ, it is equal to the value of the line segment RS. So line segment RS equals 7. Line segment PR it is congruent to line segment QS. If line segment PR, it is equal to 5, what is the value of the line segment QS? So PR, line segment PR is 5. So it means line segment QS, that is also equal to 5. Because whatever is the value of the line segment PR, it is equal to the value of the line segment QS. Because line segment PR, it is congruent to line segment QS. Second theorem about the parallelogram, opposite angles are congruent. So it means angle P, it is congruent to angle S. Another, angle Q, it is congruent to angle R. So whatever is the value of angle P, it is equal to the value of angle S. Whatever is the value of angle Q, it is equal to the value of angle R. If the measure of the angle QPS, so QPS, yung gitna P, so this is 105 degrees. What is the measure of the angle QSR? So yung gitna letter is S. So what could be the value of the measure of the angle QSR? So that is also equal to 105 degrees because angle P it is equal or congruent to angle S. So if that is 105 degree, the measure of the angle QSR, it is equal to 105 degrees. If the measure of the angle PRS is equal to 75 degrees, what is the measure of the angle PQS? The measure of the angle PQS, that is also equal to 75 degrees. Because angle R, it is congruent to angle Q. It means whatever is the value of the angle R, it is equal to the angle Q. So the measure of the angle PQS, that is 75 degrees. Let us find the value of the angle E. So this is angle E. So angle E, it is congruent to angle O. So it means... 5x plus 20, it is equal to 3x plus 60. So let us solve for the value of x to be able to identify the angle E. So that becomes 5x, bring down, and then move positive 3x going to the left side, that becomes negative 3x. 
60 bring down, 20 move on the right side, that becomes negative 20. 5 minus 3 is 2, copy x. 60 minus 20, that is 40. And then to be able to solve for the value of x, let us divide both sides with the numerical coefficient of x, so that is 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1x, and then 40 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 20. So the value of x is equal to 20. So let us identify now the angle E. If the value of x is equal to 20, let us get the measure of the angle E that is equal to 5x plus 20. And then let us replace the value of x by 20 to the given equation. So that becomes 5 times 20 plus 20. So it means 5 times 20 is 100 and then copy 20. So the measure of the angle E that is equal to 120 degrees. So it means the value of the angle E that is 120 degrees. What if we need to identify the measure of the angle O? The measure of the angle O, it is also equal to 120 degrees because angle E, it is equal to the angle O. Third, consecutive angles are supplementary. So it means the measure of the angle L plus the measure of the angle O that is equal to 180 degrees. Another, the measure of the angle O plus the measure of the angle V that is equal also to 180 degrees. The measure of the angle V plus the measure of the angle E that is equal to 180 degrees. The measure of the angle E times the measure of the angle L that is equal to 180 degrees because consecutive angles are supplementary. If the measure of the angle E, L, O, that is 120 degrees, let us identify the measure of the angle L, O, V. So this one. So the measurement of the angle E, L, O, plus the measurement of the angle L, O, V, that is equal to 180 degrees. Let us replace the value of the measure E, L, O to the given equation. So that becomes 120 degrees plus copy and then copy. So let us solve now for the measure of the angle L, O, V. So the measure of the angle L, O, V, it is equal to bring down 180 degrees. And then let us move 120 going to the right side. That becomes negative 120 degrees. 180 degrees minus 120 degrees, the answer is equal to 60 degrees. So it means the measure of the angle L, O, V, that is equal to 60 degrees. So this one, the measure of the angle ELO is 120 degrees. So it means the measure of the angle LOV, that is 60 degrees. Because consecutive angles are supplementary. If we add 120 degrees plus 60 degrees, the answer is 180 degrees. The fourth theorem about the parallelogram, that is, diagonals bisect each other. Those diagonals are not congruent. Those diagonals bisect each other. So it means line segment PJ, it is congruent to line segment SJ. Another, line segment RJ, that is congruent to line segment QJ. So it means P, line segment PJ, it is equal to line segment SJ. Line segment RJ, it is equal to line segment QJ. Another, that is diagonals divides into two congruent triangles. So if we divide like here, that becomes those triangle, that is triangle QPR, this triangle in red, it is congruent to triangle QSR, itong triangle na yellow. So yung red, it is equal to the triangle na yellow. So QPR, it is congruent to the triangle QSR. Diagonals divide into two congruent triangles. So if it, as ever na 
hindi naman siya on the right yung pagka-divide, on the left naman. So, those triangle, that is the triangle PRS, yung red, it is congruent to the triangle PQS, yun yung yellow. So, yung red, it is congruent to yellow. If line segment LX, that is equal to 8, so this is line segment LX, what is the value of the line segment XB? So it means if line segment LX is equal to 8, it means line segment SB, that is equal to 8, because diagonals bisect each other. If line segment OS, that is equal to 10, what is the value of the line segment EX? So if line segment OX is congruent to line segment EX, it means the value of the line segment EX that is equal to 10 because diagonals bisect each other. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.